riding with me while I tell you about the crazy 10 year olds that are storming Sephora. So, first I'm going to use this, it's the Mary Kay Botanical Effects Cleansing Gel. So, I went to Sephora the other day because, um, I was just, uh, I needed refills of skincare, um, because I only had really small bottles of it, um, because I had gotten samples of it in the advent calendar, um, so I was going to Sephora to get the full size of it, um, two different products, and I had been hearing about, um, these 10 year olds who have been storming Sephora, so I was like, I'm gonna, um, ask the cashier who's checking me out if she has had any problems with that, so I go up and she's checking me out with the two skincare products that I'm buying, and... I ask her, hey, have you had any problems with the 10-year-olds at Sephora? And she she kind of goes like, oh my gosh, yes. I have had, like, the kids are being wooed. The kids are destroying the, the testers, um, like the drunk elephant testers. Um, They're destroying the testers and they're pumping out different products on top of each other to make skincare smoothies. If you don't know what skincare smoothies are, basically, they'll just um, take the um, little drunk elephant pumps and they'll pump out a little bit of cream and then they will use other products on top of them and just start mixing them together and they'll call it a skincare smoothie. It's really, really weird. Um, I don't understand why you would want to do that. That can't be good for your skin, but okay, sure, whatever you want to do, bro, but like also you can't do that in stores. You have to buy the products first because that's literally vandalism, bro. Like that's not okay. Um, and she was telling me all about that. Um, and she was also saying that kids are being, like, literally very rude to employees and also to her. Um, she was saying, like, the 10-year-olds are being, like, um, super rude. And, like, when products are out of stock, they're, like, um, swearing at customers, uh, um, not customers, at, um, the employees. And they're, like, um, demanding that the products be in stock when they're not. Um, it's just a total mess. Um, I've seen videos online. Uh, story times of employees speaking out of uh, them being even physically assaulted by these kids. Like, well, as much as a 10-year-old can physically assault someone, but one of, I saw this crazy story where one of them actually drew blood from a customer's um, leg because she had the last drunk, drunk elephant product in the store. Uh, and the younger girl wanted it, and so she literally, like, attacked her, kind of, um, to, to get the drunk elephant product, which is insane to me. Like, when did 10-year-olds become this crazy and violent? Um, I can't remember if she, the 10-year-old ended up with the product or not from that video, but, um, yeah, that's just insane to me. Like, my mouth dropped open when I heard that story. Because, like, where are the parents in these kids' lives? Like, why are the parents allowing these 10-year-olds and, like, even younger, like, 6, 7-year-olds to run in Sephora with the credit cards without their parents? Because most of the times the parents aren't there. Uh, why are parents letting kids buy, like, hundreds of dollars of worth of Sephora products? And just be complete a nu nuisance to the customers who are just trying to get their skincare and their makeup that they need. And to employees who are literally just there to help you. Like, it's a whole other thing to be rude to employees. Because, like, they work 9 to 5. Like, they're literally, like, working at jobs is stressful, you know? Like, why you gotta do that? Um... 
it's just insane to me because like when I was 10 I didn't even know what Sephora was I had no idea about makeup or skincare I didn't even know what any of it was I wanted like Barbie and video games <laughs> That's all I wanted for Christmas. And don't even get me started on the the um, wish lists that the kids have had for last year's Christmas. Because apparently I've seen photos online and literally all of them are asking for like skincare. And not a single one of them asking for toys and gaming systems. And, like, they're asking for, like, expensive skincare, like Dior lip oil. Like, I saw this one girl who had Dior lip oil on her Christmas list. They're asking for, like, expensive makeup and expensive clothing. And I'm just wondering, like, when did makeup and skincare become, like, kids' toys? Like, you know what I mean? A lot of people are saying that, like, Sephora is the new Claire's. And, like, yeah, I can see it. Honestly, I feel like at this point, Sephora needs to put, like, a, like, an 18 plus rating on their store because kids are going wild inside of Sephora, and it's honestly turned into, like, an epidemic at this point. Um, so, to come full circle here, the worker just looked so tired, and I felt so bad for her. She was like, yeah, it's it's been really hard, so I, I was like... Told her good luck, and she was really nice, so she cashed me out, and I left with the two skincare products. But, like, I just felt, like, so bad for her, man, because, like, I can't imagine, like, being, like, insulted every single day over skincare. Like, that's absolutely insane. And one in ten year olds want skincare, you know? Like, that's just absolutely insane to me. Absolutely insane. What I'm doing right now is I'm just drawing off the product on my face so I can move on to the next one. <laughs> it might look a little weird. Yeah, so I think Sephora needs to put an 18 plus limit on who can come in the store. And don't get me wrong, I think it's great that kids want to take care of their skin now because, like, oftentimes kids, like... When I was growing up, kids didn't care about the skin at all. They would just, you know, run around and do whatever with it. But the problem is that kids are using, like, acid products. And, like, Drunk Elephant is not made for kids. It's made for, like, people over 30. So I don't even use Drunk Elephant because my skin is, like, super sensitive. So what do I recommend kids use? I'm not a dermatologist or a skin doctor or anything like that. Um, but what I recommend kids use is a cleanser, a moisturizer, an SPF, aka a sunscreen, and literally that's it. They don't need makeup. They don't need fancy skincare. That's what I recommend they get. Um, and that's a multi-step skincare routine, right? Like, that should be good enough for them. And you, and you as the parent need to start parenting because you can't expect random people in Sephora and employees at Sephora to parent your kid. So <laughs> that's how, kind of how I've been feeling about it. This is my hair oil. I only use one pump of this because it's pretty much good after that. Just work it through my hair. This stuff is a lifesaver, honestly. And I also find it really concerning that there are a big group of parents out there who are, like, posting videos of their young kids. Like, I've even seen, like, this is going to sound really bad, but I've also seen, like, three-year-olds doing, like, get ready with me videos on TikTok. Um... And they have, like, whole TikTok accounts of them just posting Sephora hauls and, like, getting sponsorships of, like, makeup and stuff like that. And I'm like, that is, like, so insane to me. Stop. Like, parents, if you're watching this, stop exploiting your kids online for sponsorships and money. Like, that is literally disgusting. And I'm so freaking disappointed with some of the parents out there.
Like that is disgusting. I have these little butterfly clips. I'm gonna put in my hair. Sometimes it's hard to get them to actually stick in your hair because they're so small, but they make it work. Here's a little outfit of the day. And yeah, that's pretty much it guys. Here are my little hair clips. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.